As you are all aware, we're here to be reminded, even celebrate the life of our sister. Thank you for making it this afternoon. Let us pray. Father in heaven, you from the beginning stretched forth your mighty hand upon creation and dued it with life. And over time, have manifested your grace by sending forth your only begotten Son. That even though our choices drifted this far, that you bring us back to your feet, nourish us with your love, and unite us back to yourself. Even through the death, sacrificial, and bodily resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, as we gather in observance of the precious life that you have just called to yourself, let it be and the heavens are standing with us in this celebration. Let it go, Lord, in God, and in your love and in your mercy. In the name of your Son, Jesus. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine.
daughter of late James Equia Jima and late Kojo Jima, who were both business entrepreneurs at Mokura Mimawa. Georgina's parents raised ten children. Georgina was the tenth child. Georgina was peacefully born on the 20th of April 1969 at Kolebu Hospital located in Accra. Georgina began her education in 1975. She attended Howard International at Pass. Georgina was very much pampered by her late mother, Janet Equia Jinwa, as she was her last born and always wanted to make her happy. Georgina was quite cheeky in her childhood. As a result, she was constantly unhappy and wished to move schools. Consequently, from Harry International, she was transferred to Happy Home to continue her education. In 1981, late Janet Ikriya sadly passed, leaving her children with no one to fend for them. Subsequently, this ignited Anahima Ompa Akoria II of Kweru Itibi to take a courageous step across the sea of the Europa in 1985. In 1986, her elder sister, Anahima, migrated Georgina Nyakwan to join her in Germany, where they worked together for a brighter tomorrow. In 1988, Georgina migrated her husband to join her in Germany, where they began their married life. In 1992, Georgina and her husband relocated to Italy, where they proceeded life as a nuclear family. <coughs> the first born, Claudia Kosha Santua, who was born in 1988, following by their second born, Caroline Ajua Sabia, in 1994, and their last born, Priscilla Akosia J, in 2000. Georgina worked as a waitress in Italy, called Autogrill also worked as a private carer. After many years, Georgina and her husband went their separate ways. Georgina decided to take a step of faith and moved with her three daughters to the United Kingdom to start a new life in 2009 in Coventry. Georgina had hoped that the future would be brighter. Georgina initiated work as a cleaner for a company called Zenith Contractors she then diverted her career into caring role, where she acquired new skills and knowledge through vocational qualifications. <coughs> Georgina worked in different care settings. She worked for a domiciliary care company called Gateway Health and Social Care, and then worked in a nursing home called Brosson Hill, and lastly worked in a residential home at Chasewood Lodge in Coventry. Georgina continued to strive and work hard for her daughters, but then came a time where it was our turn as her daughters to take care of her. A sickness came knocking at our door. Even in her ill health, Georgina demonstrated her trust in God. Her faith did not wither, nor was it altered until the very end. Georgina, was a jovial and kind person. She loved dancing and singing songs along. She always used to speak with her daughters in Proverbs when giving advice. Georgina was a blessing to us all. Dami Fredji, Jenny Amanimu, Ubukra Adia, and Quenti Minji, and Kamami, Mekwanju, Nanti Ye, until we meet again, sweet, loving mother. Without wasting time, for let us please call uh, Priscilla with the second woman brought up to come and give a tribute for their children. Please let's welcome her.
tribute for the children split into two parts. So the first part is when our mother was still alive and the second part is when she passed on. This weekend was emotionally challenging. Within my mother's weary eyes, as she travelled down memory lane with her older sister, reminiscent of all the good and troubling times. The two together, fruits of the same room, expressing the struggles which they encountered as they explored the new world as mere teenagers and young adults. The trials and tribulations which they endured with no familiar faces and without the guiding, the guiding hand of a mother who was taken away from them too soon. The essence which was created rejuvenated my mother. It brightened and lifted her spirit. But at the same time, it became a sweet, a bittersweet reminder of how far she had come and of how mighty she once was. And how now she's been eaten away piece by piece of this poisonous disease, which she fights day by day with her might and soul. Not for her own sake, but for our sake. For the sake of her fierce firstborn daughter, Claudia Kosha Santuajima. For the sake of her kind-hearted and delicate daughter, Carolina Sabia Yadam. For the sake of her lastborn, the one who still has so much to learn in this uncertain world, Priscilla Ajay Yadam. For the sake of her beautifully and fearfully made grandchildren, Ama Janel, Nana Kwame, Kofi Jeremiah, Davian, and the Fiat Desiree. It is because of us that she fought for so long, and it is because of us that she fought so strong. Without her, we're like a great army without a general, susceptible to defeat. With her loving nature, she welcomed all. With great strength, she pursued for more. For our sake, she continued to be strong. Her laughter that night with her sister sparked this bittersweet pain within my heart. So soothing and so beautiful, yet so painful. The thought of not hearing her voice and not feeling your warmth no more breaks my heart. What will I do without your beautiful smile? What will I do without your countless faithfuls? What will I do without your prayers? What will I do without your discipline? What would I do without you, Mother? Do not leave us and do not abandon us. For you have fought for so long. Do not give up on us and do not give up on God. I have no words to describe what I'm going through. My mom, my love, my woman, my everything. Mama G, G for America. She was my true rock, my backbone. My mom was one in a million. A virtuous and prayerful woman. My mom was a blessing to me and many of us. She wasn't just a mother, but she was a mother to many. She loved and was loved by many. Her smile, her laughter, her insults and her jokes, her cheeky self and her charisma. What will I do without you, my loving and caring mother? You indeed fought for us and you never stopped fighting. Indeed, you fought the good fight. Mother, I will always cherish and love you all the days of my life. You gave me so much inspiration, so much I have learned from you. To never give up on God, no matter the situation we find ourselves in, and always to rely on God as he will always see us through. He who knows our tomorrow, he will secure our future. Mother, I know I'm going to miss you so much. Where would I go for that lovely smell of rice that you can smell from miles away? Who will I go for? Who will I go to for advice? Who will I, who should I watch our favorite programs with? Indeed, you are a strong woman. 
As sisters, we all took from your strength as it's indescribable. No matter the pain you had gone through throughout these years, you fought for us with needles being injected in your skin every blessed week. You did this just for us. And forever, I will always be grateful for being there for us. I will always cherish those wonderful moments that we shared together. I will keep it in my heart, all the memories that we shared. I will always make you proud, Mother, and your legacy shall forever reign. You are truly a great, powerful woman. A woman who will always stand by her children no matter what. You always taught us to live in unity and in love. Nana Hema, rest well in the bosom of your maker. I love you with all my heart. Your grandchildren love you. And they thank you for nourishing them from the day they were born. Thank you for always protecting and praying for them whenever they were unwell. You stretched your hands on them and they were healed. Truly, Georgina, you have been a blessing to us all. Mother, you made us understand the importance of unity. You made us understand the importance of love. You made us understand the importance of trust. But above all, you made us understand the importance of God. You built us on a foundation which can never be shaken. You ensured that we have strength and courage of mighty warriors so that we may not be intimidated by the various winds that will blow over our lives, so that we may become victorious in our times of disarray, vulnerable and exposed to the world I feel. Mother, I know that you shall shield me from above, from all that is wrong and evil in this world. Even if we cry a thousand times, we will not see you again. But our precious mother, you still are and forever will be.
the least I've wanted will come and present a tribute on behalf of Namahema Ompa Ahulu. Please just welcome him. Georgina Akusenya is the tenth and the last one of our late mother, Janet Ejewa. We, her siblings, used to call her Jenna. As the last born, we had loved and pampered her and paid much attention to her upbringing. After my mother passed away, my family decided in the year of 1985 that I traveled to Germany to fight for a better life for the siblings and I. After saving some money, I decided to help Jenna to leave Ghana and join me in Germany. At least we would have us sisters in a new environment. As sisters, we had each other and shared everything. We started life as adults together, though we were still young. It was in Germany that Jenna decided to bring her husband, Akwesi, from Ghana. As an elder sister, I helped her financially, and he was able to join us in Germany. After a while, they moved to Italy and started their life there. I stayed behind in Germany and accepted the fact that my younger sister is now growing a family of her own. Italy. After a while, I decided to visit her in Italy. She grew, in, she grew into a beautiful and loving mother of two at that time. I was pleased in my heart and left after a week. Germany. Some years later, Gina surprised me in Germany with her last born. So there were three kids in all. I was happy and overwhelmed with happiness. But that was also the time she told me that she separated from her husband, Kwesi. That made me sad, but God knew and still knows the best. We used to spend so much time and then life also turned around. Our life departed and she concentrated on raising her children and I did the same. But to cut my story short, I heard Gina was not well, not knowing that she was not getting well ever again. Gina, why did you have to go? We are the elder siblings. Why didn't you wait for us? Why? I f it feels like a dream. I can't look into the eyes of your children and even your grandchildren without crying within me. But it's written in Romans 14 verse 8. If we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. I know you belong to the Lord, my dear Gina. The last minute we spent together filled my heart with joy. Hearing your voice gave me strength. You calling my name Nana gave me a feeling of togetherness. I remember sitting and talking to you on your be talking to you with your beautiful daughters for hours. I didn't want it to, the day to end, but we all know that God knows the best. We love you, my Jenna. We miss you. We are here to be there for your children and your grandchildren, my dear Jenna. Every time I see two sisters, I smile and, and then I cry. I once had the kind of love, but now it's hard to find. Sleep well, Georgina. Rest in wonderful peace. A tribute from the perspective of the sons of the in-laws. Please let's welcome George.
Hello everyone. I'm a bit triggered by emails. <clears throat> Miss Georgina, I always called her mom. She was a wonderful, godly woman who seeks to please the Lord in all that she does and upholds her children and grandchildren in prayer daily. Ma, the time we shared meant so much to me, especially when we both went to Ghana in 2015 for the summer holidays. It was fun. We took good care of the grandchildren, Janelle, Deshaun, Jeremiah, David, and Desiree. You loved me from the very start with your warm and kind, with your warm and kind and loving heart. Mama Gina was such an awesome mother in law to me. The love you showed to me was like no other. You will watch over us from heaven above. She wasn't a superwoman, then who was she? She could have easily given up, but she fought strong for her children, grandchildren, to see, to see the achievement of us all. I know we have made her proud, and we will continue to do so. Rest in peace, Mama Jenna, we love you. That was Kofi and Kofi. Uh, stood together, living through it all. And some of the things that the people are reading, of course, I do not know about the family ones. But so far as the children and the in laws are concerned, maybe you may not understand why there is that kind of a break in the reading. Because all of these men were there at the time of her passing, including within the grandchildren, they were all there. And so, when they read in these things, they actually uh, move back to that instance. And the truth of the feelings that projected in the room at the time goes through their hearts. May God strengthen all of you. Amen. I'm reading for the family. Georgina, our last born. You left with 16 years to Europe. Of course, yeah, we plan to spend Easter 2023 with you in Co, Ghana. Our last born, why didn't you wait? Tell us why. Our hearts are heavy. We didn't expect something like this. Why? Our family has lost three souls in just three years. Why? Who are they? That can't be true. You left three beautiful children behind. We will love them as our own. We will take care of them, because yeah, the Bible says it's close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. We pray that our God will stay close to us and your children, that he may comfort us. Akosia, you stand for togetherness, mm -hmm. and indeed you have put together what was scattered. You have given the family a new definition of togetherness. See, your children are coming from all over the world to mourn you. Colin Samachi says, then refer to you. Samuel Lesiama in Ghana, says, Nati mm. William Ichima in Germany, says, Dui, Dui. Nana Ompa Akoa, says, Dui. Thank you. Amen. 
she ate in your house, worked with you, and knows Nanahima more intimately than any official that could have been appointed for this particular task. So to this end, we will invite Tonda Shea Mensa Bonshu to come to the front. <laughs> The day of her passing, a few of us went to see her at her home. And though she was battling with death and unable to speak, we could all see she was full of joy. Nanahima took her last supper with the Holy Communion. We shared wonderful and powerful praise. We praised and worshipped the Lord and anointed her with oil. Once this was done, Nanahima went into glory, peacefully, in the arms of her pastor, surrounded by all of her children. We are therefore convinced that she is now resting in the bosom of our father Abraham. Nanahima, you have fought a good fight. You have finished your course. You have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for you a crown of righteousness which the Lord, the church, has given you on this day. 2 Timothy 4, 7. Nana, Daye, may your soul rest in peace on behalf of your church. That was the true book for Tony's Why did you say the amen that way? She goes so that I say it properly. A time came when it was obvious that indeed things were declining. As she now was immobilized in breath and she had bed rest unto her death. As the days goes by, by she couldn't speak. So when you go to visit her, she's looking at your face and I hold her hand and say, the night man. I ask her questions, and I say, if you want to answer yes, just move your finger or just blame for me. And she would. All the time, it was very warming to see that the whole family, Claudia, Priscilla, uh, Caroline, even their husbands, and all the grandchildren would be walking and running around, right next to the bed upon which their grandmother was dying. The beautiful thing is that on the last day, as I was in the house, I was prompted to go and visit her promptly. I said to some people to come and meet me with some communion and oil. And then we ministered the communion to her. It was very interesting because she used to enjoy the communion and the wine. I remember trying to put it in and because her mouth was shut, she couldn't receive it fully. And Claudia stood next to me. And suddenly Claudia became a priest. Claudia was trying to help me get the communion in. It's like, mommy, whether you like it or not, today you have me the communion. And so as I'm pouring the drink on one side, Claudia is shoving the bread on one side. And I started to think, is this woman the thing? What did she do? But by the grace of God together, we really send the grace of God to her. Pray that my She was a prayer warrior in our church for a while. And I am uh, any time when disaster struck. The first one to call was in prayer. She prayed. Usually I would dance at work with her when we do in praises in church. As I give her more prayer. And we would dance it together doing our Ghanaian thing in a very multicultural international church. And I am uh, was a Christian. And therefore died as a Christian. At the point of her death, I baptized her in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And she died a victorious anointed Spirit-filled believer. Amen. It is to this end that at this particular juncture, officially, I would say my assembly of all nations has disassociated itself from the earlier demonstration of tradition and certain libations that were poured. We as a church has nothing to do with it, and it does not reflect our beliefs. At this particular time, I also want to emphasize the fact that the Nayama has died in peace. The peace of God who surpasses all understanding is manifested in their heart. We can testify as believers and as those who are with her that Nanahima, her spirit, is settled with the Lord. Amen. Today, therefore, we are not here to mourn. 
We're here to look at a life that has gone through ups and downs, through all the poisons that are given in the hospital, the things that weaken the flesh and her mind. But still at the point of death, she stood their ground in faithfulness to her God. My question becomes, how many of us, if we were tempted with similar situations, will still remain faithful when you see other people being healed apparently, but you are dying of sickness? Will you turn your back on God or will you stand with God? Nana Hema didn't turn her back. Through it all, she stood their ground and manifested what is expected of the saint at the very point of death. From the time she passed, and all of us who were there who witnessed the peace with which she passed, even the Phoenix, it truly confirmed the word of God that when the saint dies, it is actually for Christ, and they came in the name of the Lord. I'd also like to emphasize that I stood there and said, this is a glorious death. I pray that in our wildest of efforts, we get to die like she did. We get to die surrounded by our children, our grandchildren, even our in-laws, and those we have shared the faith with. As she died and closed her eyes, Nanahema didn't die with her eyes just hanging. She died with her eyes closed beautifully in my hands. I realized that of all the petty issues that we have as people, of all the troubles and the insinuations we cast, the aspersions that we throw at each other's direction, there is no use for them. The time has come that we all lift up our heads and link up with each other in love and in truth. How did I see this? Because even at Nanahema's death, I realized that the first week celebration,
Father of all creation, you have brought us to this point. If in us we receive our sister to glory, we, those who love her, have gathered in mourning, but a mourning that is orientated within the truth of the Mary in our heart, that she has made it open. Therefore, today, we pray that the family be consoled, that they may walk in the hope of the fact that the one who belongs to them now belongs to God. Amen. As we go to commit what her mortal remains are into the ground, we pray that your spirit be us. Amen. And anyone here who through this gathering has been reminded of their own loss, May you go to our console. In Jesus' name, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.
says in all things we should give you thanks Amen. in view of that scripture we say thank you even in the moment of our grief Amen. let us sing together Amen Amen, Amen. blessings Amen. and glory wisdom and thanksgiving
singing we glorify your name. We glorify your name. We glorify your name. And then we sanctify your name. We sanctify Truly we magnify We magnify We magnify Let his banner be And his glory be seen We will serve Celebrate, we will celebrate our Lord. Even in this pain, we will celebrate our Lord. Let his banner be raised and his glory be seen. We will celebrate. Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet, God, the call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Mm -hmm. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, I encourage one another with these words. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed. In a flash, in the twinkle of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and will be changed. For the perishable must come, or must clothe itself with the imperishable, and the mortal with the immortality. When the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your victory? Where, O oh, death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, He gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm let nothing move you always give yourselves fully to the work of the lord because you know that your labor in the lord is not in vain we have gathered to commit to this resting place the body of our beloved nanahema cherishing memories that are forever sacred Sustained by a faith that is stronger than death and comforted by the hope of a life that shall be endless. We commit to the earth all that is mortal of this one. And just as we have borne the image of the earthly man, so shall we bear the image of the heavenly man. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? One thing I have asked of the Lord. This only do I seek. 
that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Some of us have shared through these passing years a wonderful companionship and fellowship with our faithful sister. We cherish the many blessed and hallowed memories that come to us in these moments. Her faithfulness, her friendship, and the consecrated life will continue their radiance and testimony in our own lives, our church, and our community. In the name of Jesus Christ, whom she loved and served, we commit her body to this resting place, knowing that her spirit is with the Lord in his heavenly house. In so doing, we rest our hearts in fresh confidence upon the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. So now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. we commit our sister to this resting place. Let us say, Amen. 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 I'll sing. 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 My chains are gone, my chains are gone. I've been set free. My God, my Savior has ransomed me. And like a flood, his mercy ring. Unending love. Amazing grief. <laughs> 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 This is a Wufana Seven. I wish I had you. So what I do, Nasib. 
Abraham Kuku, as you join your dear, with young Krumpon Kwame by say, Yeah, don't bring Pong, one come on what? From our crumb, yes, a fair fair. Above from Kentinka, so what I got to Yamia, you will feel your mother, saying, I mean, when she up. I don't mean dinner, but two me and what dinner with Christo. So when you make Omo Wetchi and your fair. Come on, watch it. Any fair? When you are banned, you know. Ewade, Jehovah Fena Kufi. Jeno, we Jesus, you know. Amen. Amen. So we find ourselves. So we are told. Amen. 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 Thank you for all the love mm -hmm. that you have shown us. Mm -hmm. And I know that you always look after us, no matter where you are. If I show you, yeah, Olive was born in Sanu. Uh, not a good man, no, I am fine coffee. No, fine to Georgina. If you only born in Sarah White, no, but only not a good man. I mean, I could announce that. I don't know, I could announce that. I don't know, I could announce that. I don't Sasa <laughs> Sasa, 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 